I wanted to ask about these level five restrictions we've been in for the last few weeks here in in Dublin. Have they affected your training at all? I spoke to Brad Katona about this. It seems like there are ways you get around it. Obviously, with the elite athlete program, the the Irish government allow. How did level five affect you? I'll tell you. I'll tell you this. I was extremely lucky. I was like <laughs> extremely lucky because when the when the, the the Irish government announced officially on the day that they will, will go to level five, that was the exactly same day that my camp got over. So uh, so I was extremely lucky on, on that part because when we got shut down, I was getting ready and packed to, to come to to US. So yeah, like. Uh, Thank God, thank, thank everything that I I was extremely lucky on, on, on that part. One of the great sporting cliches in everything, in soccer, in rugby, in fighting, is this guy is so hungry. This guy wants it more than the other guy. However, it, it has become part of your style of fighting. When you look at the Daniel Crawford fight, that was absolutely the reason why you ended up getting that win in that particular fight. How much has this last few months just focusing on Patricio Pitbull, the, the pain of losing out on the fight in March. How much has that uh, fed that desire within you? Oh, big time, big time. You know, like I consider myself a self-motivated guy because I have these goals on my head. I want to prove to the world that I'm the best in the world. And that's all I need. That's all I need to get up every single day to go to work and, 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 and give my absolute best in every single session. And uh, day after day, I'm more hunger and hunger. And, and absolutely, after I, I, saw, I saw my, my, my first world belt opportunity away, gone away because of you know, this COVID thing, it was frustrating, but immediately it just gave me this fire focus. Like, it's like um, every time someone said that I won't make it, Every time someone said that I won't be able, that I'm not good enough, and uh, their words just give me an extra fire to prove them wrong. So this was like kind of the contra- the con- contradict like uh, energy, like because I saw my 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 opportunity gone away f- for, from nowhere, and I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna make this a better thing than I will be fighting. If I will be fighting today. You know, this guy that's going to fight today is nothing comparing from the guy that's going to fight whenever I'll, I'll fight. So that was my focus and that will give me fire. And I remember on the same day that I got canceled, I was in the gym or on the hotel gym training like a madman. And, and that was my daily process, my daily basis. I, 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 I kept my weight from from then on, from then to, to, to now. I kept my diet. I kept training every single day, no matter the adversity, no matter how locked we were. I kept training every day, and uh, I'll tell you what: like right now, I'm I'm, I'm 30, 40, 50 thousand times a better fighter than I was in March. Can I sneak one in just before we go uh, about Peter Queeley and Patricky Pitbull? Has Patricky missed his chance now? Are you going to make sure that Patricio goes up and defends that title against Peter when the the crowds are allowed back in Dublin? Hey. Um, Patrice will go back to lightweight for sure. What Bellator is going to make after, I don't know. I don't know if uh, Patrice will, will, will be good enough to give his brother a, um, a, a chance of fighting for a, a bacon belt, but just imagine three arena, main event, me defending my belt for the semifinals of World Grand, uh, Grand Prix, I'll call main event Peter Quilly against whatever Pitbull is for the lightweight belt. And who knows, Sinead Kavana for the fairway belt against Chris Cyborg. That will be the card of the year, I think. Just just saying. <laughs> That's beautiful. Hey, Island here. I just want to know, what has the training been like down at uh, SBG Island? You know, with all yeah, with all the, the COVID things, it, 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 it went way better than i was expecting we i got everything everyone that i need was there for me and uh, everything that i need was was there in 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 and of course we have we have to go around a lot of stuff but everything got done everything got done as we wanted and uh, the results were way better than uh, we expected to be honest so yeah um, we we will get we call good away 
And now that you're down in Ireland, don't you miss uh, the Portuguese food at all? Just a little bit? Just no, it's not just a little bit. It's massively, massively. That's the main thing that I, 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 I miss about my country is my food, you know, the Portuguese food. I'll tell you, like, I'll tell this to, to all my Italian friends, French and everything. Like everyone speaks about the Italian food, the French food, and it's good. But comparing to Portuguese, Nah, not a close, you know, and, and people that have been there, they agree with me. And uh, yeah, absolutely. The thing that I, that I miss the most when, I, when I'm away uh, is, uh, is my country food. And, uh, you know, that's why I always gain a few pounds when I go over there. <laughs> All right, Pedro, I appreciate the time and best of luck on Thursday, my friend. Thank you.